be very, very, very clear. Nobody has to accept me. I'm not looking for your acceptance, but you better treat me the same way you treat everybody else. That's how we live in this country. You don't have to love me. You don't have to like me. You can think I'm the devil incarnate, but you better treat me like a decent human being because that's how I treat you, even though you don't believe that I have the right to exist. That's LAUSD President Jackie Goldberg talking essentially to uh, book banning homophobes who didn't want a specific book read to children. And the fact is she read the entire book previous to that part of the speech out loud to everyone. Here's what she found. I read you the entire book. It had one sentence. Families can also be two parents that are mothers and two parents that are fathers. But here's what really scares me. When you have two or three days of this kind of chaos of people screaming at the top of their lungs outside a school that read a book with one sentence in it that said, yeah, guess what? Families can include two moms and two dads. By the way, at the little discussion at the school after that, as soon as the book was over, one of the little girls sitting at my knees said, I have two mommies. But a little boy on my other side said, I have five grandmas. The idea that there are different kinds of families. The people screaming out at the streets, they didn't get a chance to find out about that because they made a decision based on hearsay. They made a decision based on agitators, not from their community, but from outside their community who saw an opportunity to take advantage of the real fears of people. So there's a lot in there and we're gonna show you more. You can watch the whole uh, video at youtube.com slash TYT investigates reports. It's posted uh, five minutes of it. But uh, what's she talking about with the people screaming and the events that occurred across town? Here's what went down uh, the Tuesday before it. Three people were arrested the previous Tuesday at protests held outside a meeting of the Glendale Unified School District Board where pro and anti LGBTQ demonstrators faced off over how schools teach gender and sexuality. It has led to violence, it has led to menacing, the kind of menacing she's about to discuss right now. Three days of yelling and screaming about this. What do you think that did to them? What do you think that did to every gay teacher, every gay custodian, every gay worker in this city, every gay kid? What do you think that did to them? It made them afraid. It made them afraid. How dare you make them afraid because you are. I'm sorry, I told you this was personal. I went through with this. My son was harassed because he had two mommies, but my grandchildren aren't. That's progress. It's a lot, it's so intense, it's so heartfelt. And what happens is if you see people who have actually experienced this kind of thing and had to live with folks and, and, under, and come to the correct understanding, which is you should be tolerant, you should be nice, you should be embracing, you should be understanding. But it's just so much easier as she points out for people to be like, no. I feel good when I tell you, you shouldn't exist. Mm -hmm. That's what she's getting at. It's horrible what she has to go through. She as the president of the LA Unified School District, um, you know, has fought tirelessly to just have some sense of sanity through it all. Um, we have some more details about how the LAUSD typically acts, um, the kinds of stuff that they typically pass to reinforce like openness and embracing all different kinds of people and all different kinds of family. But first, John, what are your thoughts? Yeah, that was the first time I saw the videos. And a few seconds into the first one, I was thinking, oh no, oh God, what is she gonna say? But by the end of it, I thought, and this is just constrained to this, I don't know as president of the LAUSD what her politics are or anything, policy. She's like my favorite person of this week, easily. Yeah. That was awesome, the fire that she has. Like how much stronger would our country be if the average person in a position of power was a little bit more like her? Yeah. Just based on this, I don't know her politics outside of it. That was amazing. Yeah, um, it's just so, it's just so weird. Like we have these terms, like they were in the lower thirds and everything, they're in our lower thirds. Pro and anti LGBTQ. And I get why for shorthand we use terms like that. Like, but. But you you could use pro and anti for like we were having a conversation on the social break about Chick Fil A sauce. You could be pro Chick Fil A sauce, anti Chick Fil A sauce. But like, isn't it weird that we use those terms for like an entire community's ability to exist? That anti LGBTQ people are not people like I don't prefer it. Like those activists, 
to whatever extent the law and the police will allow them would try to wipe this entire community out of existence. It's just sheer madness and they have a problem with one line in a book that families can have two moms or two dads. Like I'm sorry if that makes you obviously lose control and become violent like a savage, but uh, it's a fact. You can get rid of the book if you want. It doesn't change the fact that families come in different forms. Take it up with the creator you pretend to worship. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you that it's a fact and you cannot get around it. Some people are gay. Now they can be gay in a place that respects them and gives them rights or unfortunately we can move in the direction of trying to wipe out those rights and all that. But the person is the same. I don't know why these people find this so hard to accept. And those families are never not going to exist. The difference is that people are either gonna sit at that podium and protect those families mm -hmm. or they're gonna sit at that podium and tear those families apart and put some in prison, force some through gay conversion therapy, marginalize them and make their lives even harder than they already are. How do I know that they're hard? Look at how everybody else is acting around them on the yeah. right right now. Horrible. And they do it in ways that they don't even understand themselves. It's it's really really bad. I do want to take a really quick uh, moment to talk about what the L, you know the politics of that board. Uh, on Tuesday, same day that I was talking about earlier, the uh, at least the L.A. according to the, New, the L.A. Times, L.A. School Board made clear they were not remaining neutral. The resolution that they passed proclaims and commemorates June as LGBTQ plus Pride Month, October is LGBTQ plus History Month, as well as October 11th is National Coming Out Day, October uh, November 20th is a Transgender Day of Remembrance. Uh, March 31st is Transgender Day of Visibility and April 12th as the Day of Silence, obviously. And, and then it encourages, quote, all schools to incorporate lessons of the LG, on the LGBTQ plus community and hold commemorative activities at various points throughout the school year. But as Jackie Goldberg says, you don't have to go to those if you don't want. That's mm -hmm. also her thing. She said, I don't want anyone going to something that they don't want to go to. And that's been an option and you're trying to ban it over one sentence that isn't bad. Um, and why this is why they passed this. Nick Melvoin, who's a school board member, says, as we're seeing the weaponization of public policy to sow hate and discrimination, it makes it all the more important for us to speak out against acts of hate and violence cropping up all around us from legislatures across the country passing LGBTQ plus bills to a cruel act of vandalism in our own backyard just a few days ago. So they normally do this and they're like, yeah, we just do it because it's nice. And we're LA and we're very inclusive, we want everybody to feel comfortable. Um, but unfortunately, it leads to the, the climate around the country has led to her having to say stuff like this. Nobody in this district will ever, ever sexualize any kid for any reason in any classroom in any way, shape or form. The fact that you have to say that, mm -hmm. like obviously no. no, no one's gonna do that. And if they do, it's always been against the law. And they're yeah. gonna come down on them hard. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.